Hey YouTube, I'm here to do a video on T.I. We all know that recently there was an anchor, a white Caucasian lady who was next to her co-worker, a black African American man. She was showing this clip of this gorilla. Take a look. And this week, the zoo's ape caretaker took over their Instagram and we are all loving that they did. And as you can see, Finn was fascinated. Definitely ready for his close up there. Kind of looks like you when you take a picture. Uh, he kind of does actually, yeah. <laughs> if you hear it real quick, she said he kind of looks like you. And then she did this whole apology thing. And then T.I. fake woke T.I. comes under the comment and say we can't get mad at her because he do kind of look like a gorilla. And this is what I'm talking about. This is nothing but self-hate. And the fact that people took T.I. seriously. This is the same man that boycotted Gucci for three months. Right then and there, y'all should have took this man for a joke. Don't get me wrong. I liked some of T.I. music. I never was a fan of him per se, but I love a lot of his music. Did I ever take T.I. as being pro-black? No. Like I said in so many previous videos, I don't consider nobody today pro-black. I don't look at nobody as being the spokesperson for the black community. Like I said, D.L. Hughley, I've never been a fan of his stand-up, but his views today, I agree with all of them pretty much. The only one I don't agree with when D.L. Hughley compare Michael Jackson and R. Kelly situation. I can't get with that. I just don't understand why is everybody taking this man serious or why is everybody upset or surprised? T.I., really, really, y'all really think T.I., care about the black community. Stay out them motherfucking stole for three months. Stay One out of quarter. them. That's Stay right. three months. Don't buy it. Don't wear it. I always said T.I. is a joke. T.I. just want to be in the limelight. T.I. just want to look important. T.I. is doing that shit for T.I. That is it. He don't care nothing about the black community but him and his family. That's all what he care about. You can just look at some people and just see that shit. What is T.I. really doing for the black community? But every time some shit pop off, he want to talk with those big words and act like he's so upset. Come on now, this man is a joke and I wanted to make this video to say to the black community, stop looking for a savior. There's none. There is no savior for the black community. What you need to start doing is doing your research, becoming a better you, finding out who you are and where you come from. Because once you find out that, you won't have to rely on people like T.I., to be the voice for the black community. I promise you that I'm all for the black community. But I don't look at anybody as being my leader. Even these preachers this day and time. I am a Christian. I respect Muslims. I respect any type of belief you have. I respect that. Because at the end of the day, I think we need to put our hope in something. But far wise are human. At this day and time, I'm telling y'all, don't do it. Better yourself. Get to know who you are. Become a better person. You know, Michael Jackson said a long time ago, I'm starting with the man in the mirror to make a change. Because to try to put your faith and your hopes in a human being, I'm telling y'all, that era is gone. I said that in so many videos. The era of the Martin Luther Kings, the Malcolm X, the Black Panthers. When we did have real leaders, someone to look up to, when we needed guidance, that's gone. I don't think it's coming back. I would hope for it to come back, but I don't think it is. So I'm saying all that to say, stop looking for these celebrities to be your savior. Black people, do your research. Become a better you. Find out where you come from. Start loving the skin that you are in. Stop putting your trust in these fake motherfuckers. Point blank, period. Until next time, peace.